I'm Tim Bring the Pain Lane. I'm a world kickboxing champion. And today, we're gonna go over a few tips that'll help build your confidence to feel like a better boxer. Remember, in order to feel like a good boxer, you have to be in a good position. So someone told me a long time ago, they said, imagine your elbow position being like a drag race. If you got two cars in a drag race and they both start at the same position, the car that's gonna win is the one that jumps first. So whoever has the best start in the drag race is gonna win this. So what we wanna do is start off in what's called a square stance. So feet on the same line. And remember, this is our base position. Having a great fighting position, make and imagine being like in a movie, will give you guys the confidence that it takes to throw good punches. First, look at my face. This is, this is smiling. Now we wanna make a mean face. Tuck our chin down, keep the elbows tight, and then put the hands next to the cheekbones. So knuckles to the cheekbones, elbows to the body. And now let's remember, our punches only go in three different ways. They go straight, they go to the side, or they go straight up. So remember, building confidence takes numbers. So we're looking to do the magic number to be an expert, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, is 10,000. Okay, so notice my elbows coming straight out and back. If your elbows pop out on these, no good. So what we want to do, remember, we're looking for 10,000. So we can throw these a lot. This makes our muscle memory remember. Now watch this, guys. If I stand up, we got to be down here in a fighting position. Hands go back to the face, knuckles to the cheekbone, and elbows to the body. I recommend doing this 100 punches before you start your workout. Or if you're at home, we can do this in the mirror. Notice also the knuckles are turning down. Now those are our straight punches. Now we go to circular punches, we wanna make a muscle. Palms facing you. And now turn the elbows up. Arms should be in a 90 degree angle. And thumb up. I've been taught before thumb down. And yes, it's a hard punch, but there's injuries involved if you hit something wrong with the thumb. So what you wanna do is have this up. And I always say it's the same position as a smacking position, okay? So remember, chin down, mean face, and notice I'm twisting. It's coming from the core. These are our hook punches, or our circular punches. And remember, the more we can throw, the more we get our muscle memory, and we're working for 10,000. So if you guys are here at home, it's here. Or if you want a good core workout, do 100 before you work out. Now, last one, the punches that go up. What we wanna do in an uppercut is get a little lower, and a good way to train it is as we roll. Rolling is the head movement where we can work our legs and our glutes and our core. When we come up, we wanna turn. Now we're gonna come off, punch comes straight up. This is our uppercut. One of my boxing coaches a long time ago said, Tim, you gotta line your forearm up with the opponent's belly button and his neck. If you get your forearm parallel to the belly button and the neck, you get to hit the chin. Okay, guys? So those are the three punches. Straight punches, circular punches, and uppercuts. Mean face, fighting position, and when you're done, remember, keep smiling.